General Jacob, one of India's most respected war heroes. Thank you very much, sir, for coming. Ian Ram Mohan, former Director General of the BSF, thank you for coming once again. Subhashini Vasant is the wife of late Colonel Vasant, who gave up his life fighting for the country and defending it against terrorists in Kashmir. Subhashini, thank you for coming tonight. I want to first ask you, Colonel Vian Thapar, father of Captain Vijay and Thapar, who died in the Kargil War and whose sacrifice we will never forget. Colonel Thapar, we forget so quickly. The story happened. Yesterday, we couldn't believe it. We checked the facts. The facts are right. I'd like you to speak up tonight first on what you've seen. You know, Anurab, today, incidentally, is the day. Twelve years ago, I lost Vijayant in the famous battle of Tololing and uh, all the subsequent uh, happenings in uh, our own town, in Noida. Now, uh, I shudder to think, I totally shudder to think if my son had been brought in a garbage van of the Noida authority, what I would have done. My blood boils when I see this uniformed people being treated so. You see, uh, the military ethos is so low that we do not understand why a man charges a machine gun why he goes on to an enemy bunker to get himself blown up? Why does he do all that? Because he's got a certain pride in his uniform. He's got a certain pride in his nation and uh, such like things. Now, unfortunately, that very pride is being hit by things like this. We have these callous uh, people talking uh, you know, glibly about uh, um, this particular incident. Uh, before this also, I was on the show with you when 60-odd uh, um, um, CRPF men were killed. The callousness was bold, written in front of everybody. And uh, the same thing is repeated here. Now, no Indian, where scams worth crores and crores of rupees are taking place every day. And uh, we pay uh, millions of uh, rupees to, for every ball that Dhoni, who belongs to the same state, uh, hits out. We can't have vehicles to bring these martyrs. Who is going to believe that? And you have a fleet of 20 to 30 uh, screeching sirens going around with one uh, official and yet you say that you don't have vehicles. In the very picture that you have shown, yes, there, are, there is a car standing at the back. Yes, sir. So I don't uh, contribute to this. I think it is insensitivity of the lowest uh, ebb that I have seen in my lifetime, never. And I also would like to say here that uh, the paramilitary forces uh, which, were, uh, with the, uh, which were involved in this operation, I don't see any reason why they themselves did not take care of their bodies. If the vehicles were not available, they would have lifted the bodies and brought them. Exactly. 10, 12 kilometers, not much of a distance. But the respect that you get, give to a body, I mean, if it was a CRPF vehicle, a BSF vehicle, no matter what else it was carrying, if it is carrying the dead bodies of its own uh, force, it is respectful is, enough. But is, that respect was not there. And then on top of it, instead of saying sorry, and instead of uh, getting those people who are responsible for this to task, we are trying to this, whitewash the whole th this, uh, uh, event. This, uh, it's a great uh, shame for the nation. What effect it will have on the morale of the people from uh, from now onwards is something to be seen. Colonel Thapar, first of all, you know, on the 12th anniversary of your son, Captain Vijay and Thapar, we once again salute his memory. I really appreciate your coming out and speaking your mind out tonight because we very often spend so much time discussing other issues. I think the point here, I want to go to you, Subhashini, the point here is insensitivity. Nobody is going to get votes. Obviously, Chief Minister Raman Singh doesn't think that he's going to be politically affected as a martyr's wife. Having experienced this yourself, how do you feel about what happened? Uh, first of all, Arnab, good evening. And my heart just goes out to those families who experienced this trauma just a few days ago, two, three days ago. First of all, I would say the last thing they needed was all this insult 
over the pain that they are going through. And for that, as somebody, a citizen from this nation who has also gone through this similar kind of trauma, I'm, I would like to say I'm sorry. Uh, she should, they should not mistake this as the insensitivity of the people but it is the insensitivity of the system that is in place and of course that system represents the people and the system it's high time they realized that they are representing people who are very sensitive this whole show is happening because of people like us who are very sensitive for you all who have started this uh, kind of program so i want to first let them know that there are a lot of people who feel for them and who understand their pain and will definitely try and help them you know I, I want them to know this because they need the la the least they need now is hope to live a life which is full of pain but also loaded with insult having said that I'm really really shocked and appalled by the way the the system the the politicians the collector and uh, the ministers can just get away with talking about things like this. It shocks me. How can, how can they not first say sorry? Uh, that's the first thing they have to do. I think, see, Arnab, I have been saying this every time and again that I come on, come on air or any opportunity that I get, that people who want to be in government service have to do a mandatory uh, uh, defense service. At least one year, they have to don the uniform to understand how to respect it. Only once they have worn it do they know what it means and how, how to respect it. That's, that's the least they can learn in that one year, even if they do not get any discipline into themselves. So I think it's high time our nation started thinking about that. And the center, I don't know how long they're going to keep putting it away. There are a lot of youth in our, in our nation who have to be put into the, this, the sense of discipline has to be incul inculcated into them right now. We cannot waste any more time. Otherwise, we are going to have more incidents like this. And I'm, I'm so shocked. See, another thing that comes to my mind is uh, the uniform I know has been losing its honor and dignity over the last few years. But this is the last straw in the whole thing. Absolutely. Because after this, there can be no greater insult. And where is the dignity going to come from? If they are going to treat their men who are martyred, forget when they are alive. How they are treated when they are alive is another matter. But even after they are martyred, if they're going to be treated like this, then what can I say? I mean, I'm, I'm really Absolutely. shocked. I'm really sad. I'm I, I'd, I'd yeah. like to now go to General Jacob. General Jacob, this is a story of indignity. Now, these some people are saying we did whatever we could have. That's what they are saying. We had to act with whatever resources remained. This is the kind of response we've got from the local police officials. What do you make of this response and of this story, General Jacob? Let me say this. I speak to you as an old soldier. I have worked with paramilitary forces. They did a splendid job, the BSF and the CRP in Bangladesh. I don't think we all know that. They played a major role and they did a magnificent job. I've been in the army for since 1941, I've seen dead bodies. Even on the British, the dead were given great honor. They were given great honor and treated with great respect. In Bangladesh, I know what we did for our dead. We looked after them and gave them uh, military funerals uh, with the, all military honors. We honored our dead. Is this the way to honor these soldiers of the uh, paramilitary who gave their lives? Is this a fitting end to go on a rubbish truck? It is callous and disgusting and shameful. They surely could have found an ambulance. There must be a hospital there. There's an SSP there. Why didn't he do something? There's a collector, SSP. They were all inept. They did nothing. And allow this to happen? This is tremendously shocking. And I think the, there should be an inquiry. And whoever is guilty of this should be punished severely uh, general jacob there's actually Gen Gen jacob just to follow up one with you yes i'm listening there's actually an N N M D C township uh, which is four kilometers from where these men died uh, townships like these are multi-hundred crore townships they have hundreds of cars 
I think it's more than sensitivity, sensibility. Somebody has to think that this is something that deserves. Yeah, I, I agree. The police have vehicles, there are so many vehicles there. Surely they can count something other than this rubbish truck? It is actually, uh, I can't understand it. It's totally callous. And I think these people should be taken to task who allowed this to happen. I, I must. We should honor the dead. Yes. Sorry? I, I, no, I, I must. I was just adding that I, I'm just going to be very specific tonight because the BJP chief, and I don't want to politicize this, but the BJP chief had a full press conference where he took on the prime minister today. Not one word about how his chief minister in Chhattisgarh was so insensitive, Mr. Ram Mohan. The chief minister says it's not a garbage truck, it's a multi-purpose truck. Maybe, you know, what next, yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Ram Mohan? You heard that from uh, the chief uh, minister. Uh, uh, I heard it, I heard it, yes. This is See, I am not able to understand anything this is which is, uh, what has happened here. When the police have gone for an operation, they have obviously gone in their vehicles. And when their encounter has taken place, the first thing is to see that the injured are taken to a hospital, given first aid, and the second is to see that the dead bodies are collected and sent back in the police vehicles. I am not able to understand why there was no police vehicle available, available for this. The, the first thing which has to be established in the inquiry is who was the officer who was in charge of this operation. The police officer was in charge of this operation. Yesterday you were discussing this with me, you said it is the BSF. I said it is impossible, it could not be the BSF. BSF would never dream of doing such a thing. I have been present in operations in Kashmir where there were casualties. BSF has enough vehicles. No question of getting any civil vehicle. Police have also got enough vehicles. And this must have been the armed police of the state. The special armed force of Madhya Pradesh, the original state, Chhattisgarh has been split from that. It was a very famous force which has fought in Nagaland, Mizoram, in Kashmir for years together. I'm sorry, there's been a very big failure in leadership in this. It's the most insensitive act which has happened. Uh, my question here is, uh, I, I want to go back to you, Colonel Thapar, you know, what happens now? We pick up the issue, we expose the fact. We debate it, we put pressure. There's not one word in apology, Colonel Thapar, after this. So what happens? The politicians responsible yes. are so smug yes. that not one word of apology has come from them. You see, without uh, mixing too many words, if our politicians could help it, they would like to outsource the whole uh, business of defense to somebody. Uh, because you won't find any senior politician's son in the army. You won't find any senior bureaucrat's son in the army. They are all in Harvard and Princeton and uh, uh, Oxford doing their studies and uh, making up their careers. And uh, they would want... Uh, so if a leader, leader's son... Uh, is killed and is brought in such a garbage uh, truck, then he will feel the pinch of uh, that uh, that insensitive insensitivity about which you are talking will vanish in half a second's time. I am sorry to say that, but uh, it is taken for granted that life is cheap in India. So, so General Jacob, what should we should we just because you know the media can push a story this far. But when there is complete shamelessness on the other side, we don't have any official, any politician apologizing for what happened in Dantewada. I can't speak for the politicians. I only can speak for a soldier. I, as a soldier, I feel shame that this has been allowed to happen. Your DG, BSF, is there. He's a friend of mine. He knows what I think about the paramilitary. They are damn fine fellows. They do a good job. And this is what the reward they get. There's a police station there. There's SSP there. Senior superintendent of police is a collector. Uh, what do they do? They get paid for what? So I, I think the, there should be an inquiry. Brain should be apportioned and disciplinary action taken. Absolutely. Especially for morale, Subhashini. want to come to you one last time. Especially for morale. Especially for morale. Yeah. Because there are families of people in uniform who are watching. What has happened in Dantewada? Morale is one of the principles of war. Absolutely. If the morale of a unit goes, it goes. So we should encourage and engender and raise the morale. Not things like this are, are hardly conducive to raising the morale of the force. I the paramilitary are doing a very fine job. Let us support them. Absolutely. Let us build them up.
I cannot agree more with you. Subhashini. Uh, yes, Arnab. No, my question to you is Hello? moral because there are families of families of those in uniform who are uh, watching this yes. tonight. Yes, uh, Arnab, I completely agree with you that to safeguard the morale of the families, first of all, so that they can support the, the soldiers who are in the front, there has to be an inquiry and the people who have uh, behaved so callously have to be taken to task and, and so that never again do they uh, treat a uniformed personnel with such disrespect. I think unless that is done, uh, there, there will not be much change and such incidents can keep repeating and it's not going to help the country's Absolutely. Um, I think, uniform I, services. I think if the Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh does not reply, then without politicizing Mr. Ramon, you think higher-ups in Delhi should pick up this issue? Because the government of Chhattisgarh does not seem to be interested in even responding politely to what has happened. Never mind the state Chief Minister. Uh, I am very clear on this. You see, yes. the one, senior one officers nation. who are present in that place there must be an inquiry and action should be taken against them for the disrespect shown to the dead and to the relations of the dead. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We are following this story and I would just like to say one thing. We are not going to let go with just a perfunctory denial. We are going to follow this story. Thank you very much for lending your voice.